Hey, Austin, what are we going to draw today? Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming. We're going to draw a cartoon version, because how old are you? Five. Six. Six, I mean. <laughs> Just turned six, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. We hope you're going to follow along with us. you got a marker and some paper. Are you ready to start? Yeah. We're going to draw Spider-Man with his first suit, so the one that he made. And we're going to draw two circles for his eyes. We're going to draw them kind of big. Whoa. Big eyes. And I'm going to draw another one big over here. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, so let's draw him. You can just start right there. Draw a big circle for his goggles. Yeah. That's a good size. And then we're going to draw another one over here. I like drawing with you. <laughs> Do you like drawing with me? Yeah. Now we're going to draw a smaller circle inside. And you can draw, why don't you draw a circle on the outside? I'm going to draw, because I drew my circles a little bit bigger, so I'm going to draw mine on the inside. And you draw yours. Oh, wow, I like it. And then another one over here. I like how big you drew it. And it's okay that our drawings look different, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. And it's okay if our circles are a little bumpy, too. Yeah. <laughs> Mine are bumpy. <laughs> now let's draw the inside of his eyes, and we're going to draw him kind of angry. So let's draw a diagonal line right there. And we can repeat that same line over here on the other side. Yeah. And then we're going to draw another one on the bottom. So we can draw another one right here. Oops, drew a little bit more. I was trying to give you points. There you go. Kind of give you a line. Then we're going to draw another one over here. Yeah. All right, now we're going to draw the outside of our, our goggles. And we're going to draw a square shape over here. So we're going to come out, down, and then back in. Can you do that? Should I give you points? I'll give you points for the first one and then see if you can do the one over here by yourself. Go out, down, and back in. He's going to have a giant head. I like it. Oh, you did it all by yourself. Give me five. You did awesome. Okay, now we're going to draw his head. We're going to draw a U shape that starts here. And we're going to go down and then back up on the other side. Man, he's going to have a giant head. Yeah. I like it. We're going to start there and we're going to end over there and draw a U. This is for his chin or the bottom of his head. Yeah, your Spider-Man's going to be awesome. Okay, now we can draw his hood. I'm going to draw the sideline a little higher, just above his eyes. See that? So let's draw him a little higher. There we go. Yeah. Good. Now we're going to draw his hood. And I'm going to put a point up here, right in between his eyes, but above his eyes. So we can put a point right about there. And then we're going to draw the side of his hood first. So we're going to draw a line that comes over and it touches, it connects to that. Then it's going to come down and then back into his cheek. Is that a tricky line? Yeah. We're going to draw, connect to there, and then down to his cheek. Just like that. Oh, I like how you're concentrating. You did it. Okay, now we're going to draw the other side of his hood over here. We're going to draw the same line, connects, comes down. And then back into his cheek. Yes. <laughs> oh, perfect. You did a great job, man. Okay, now we can draw the top of his hood. So this one's going to be really cool. We're going to draw a line that comes over here. Watch this. Kind of tricky. It's going to come up, over for the top of his head, and then back down. Whoa. Is that awesome? Yeah. It's a tricky line. Okay, we start right here. I bet you can do it. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to come all the way over and we come up to here. You can come up to the point right there and then down over to there. You can do it. Yes. Oh, he's going to have a pointy head. <laughs> yeah. Good. You did it. Give me five, man. I'm so proud of you. He has the awesomest hood ever. Okay, now we're going to draw a line right down the middle of his head. Right, right down the middle. So start right there and go right down, the, right down the middle to his chin. Boop. Good job. His now, face is cut in half. His face is cut right in half. Now we can draw his body. We're going to draw two lines that come out from his chin. So start right there. 
come down to there and maybe another one over here. Yeah. Oh, I like him. Okay, now let's draw his waist. So right here, we're gonna draw a line that comes across and connects to the other side. So we can start there, come all the way over to the other side. Yeah. All right, now we can draw his legs. So right here, in between, we're gonna draw an A, a letter A. So we start right there, come up, and then back down. Yeah, perfect, oh, that's okay. <laughs> now we're gonna draw his feet. We're gonna draw a U, a sideways U, to connect the two, these two points right here. So draw a little foot, and then we're gonna draw a foot on the other side. <laughs> yeah, that's a teeny foot, I like it. <laughs> He's got happy feet. <laughs> now let's draw his arms, and we're gonna draw a J shape. Oh, it's kind of backwards J for that, for that side. Yeah, and then we're gonna do a frontwards J over here. Yes, perfect. Okay, now we got the shape of his body done. We need to add the details. Let's draw his boots first. So we're gonna draw a line on his leg, on both sides, for his boots. So you can draw right here. I love his little feet. <laughs> and then one on the other side, yeah. And then we're gonna draw his wrists. And he has those little web shooters. So we're gonna draw two lines on his wrist right here. So you can draw one line and then one line above it. Cool. And then, yep, on the other side too. You know what we're gonna do, huh? Yeah. Okay, now we can draw two lines down in between those. And that's this is for his web shooters. And then two lines on this side. Okay, what's our Spider-Man costume missing? His spider on his... Yeah, on his chest. Yeah. Yeah, he has a big spider on there. So we're going to draw an oval for the spider body. Then we can color it in. What should we draw next on our spider? His legs. Yeah, he's missing legs. Let's draw a line that's bent like that. Bends up. And we can do that on the other side too. Then we're going to draw another leg bent up on both sides. Then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to bend the spider legs down. So we're going to bend one down on each side. And then we're going to bend another one right next to it on each side. Yeah. One more. Now our spider has eight legs, doesn't it? Yeah. We're missing two things. We're missing his pockets on his sweatshirt. So we can draw two curves, one on each side. Yeah, and then one over there. Oh, good. Okay, the last thing is his sweatshirt what? String. Strings, yeah. He has one little string coming down on this side, on the left side, and one sweatshirt string coming down on the right side. And then let's put a little line in there on each side. Now we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color. Yeah, we're gonna color our Spider-Mans on the computer. But you guys at home can pause the video right now to match the same color and you can use whatever you want. You don't have to use the computer. You could use colored pencils or... Oil pastels. Yeah, oil pastels or paint or even crayons. Yeah, we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Spider-Man. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Spider-Mans with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Dude, you did so awesome. Good five. Yeah, give me a lot of fives. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aww. Hey, you guys, if you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. You can also click the bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. I've also picked out these other lessons I thought you'd enjoy. And one last thing, parents and teachers, be sure to share your child's finished drawing on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We want to see how awesome it turned out.